So welcome to the seminar. seminar. Um, what we're going to talk about really is what has been a really major problem um, when you're going to um, go from part design to tool design. And it is one of the problems that people have been having for many years and they're still having uh, issues. Um, analysis and, and Moldex 3D specifically can address the uh, issue to uh, zero in much more accurately uh, to determine exactly what um, shrinkage should be uh, for your part and specifically how the tool should be cut uh, since we know that it doesn't shrink perfectly evenly all the way through your part. So moving on here, um, again, just a little background again into me. I've got 30 years of experience in uh, plastics uh, engineering. We've been doing flow analysis now for 30 years. Uh, we've actually been using uh, and selling Moldex 3D now for 20 years. Um, so we have lots of experience and um, hopefully I can bring some of that experience uh, here showing you how to um, make your parts better. Uh, so our um, presentation today will include um, identifying the exact molding material you want to use for your test, uh, qualify the data based on material manufacturer, acquire or generate rheological data, uh, understand the part geometry that will be molded, um, specifically wall thicknesses, um, identify critical dimensions and tolerance areas of the part, test material using ASTM test bar strips to verify good shrink data, why data sometimes does not always match um, the analysis um, or the molded part, um, we're going to do an example part uh, to show you some of the specifics. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about reverse deformation, which is um, really kind of the next step in analyses, um, which is uh, taking the data uh, that you've run with analyses, um, actually create a negative one version of that part and uh, possibly even cut the tool from it. Um, running your part based on standard processing and adjust processing to dial in uh, required sh shrink rate. 